Hey guys, back with another educational video. This week I want to talk about a new study that came out of the University of South Florida and humble brag, three of our team biolane coaches are actually on the paper. Shout out to them. That would be David Mathis, James Longstrom, and Sarah Ford. So they were all a part of this publication. This was a study that assessed the effectiveness of back-to-back -back refeed days on fat loss, maintenance of fat-free mass, as well as uh, maintenance of RMR or resting metabolic rate. Now there's been quite a few studies done on calorie cycling over the years. What we see is that it doesn't appear that like one day or isolated days of overfeeding or eating at maintenance really improve fat loss outcomes. There's, there's, there's a lot of data to show that if your weekly calories are equated, that you lose the same amount of fat. In this study, what they did was they had a continuous dieting group that ate at a 25% deficit from their maintenance calories every single day for I think it was eight weeks versus a intermittent dieting group, read, uh, that is not the same thing as intermittent fasting. A little while back, the Matador study came out and the title was Effect of Intermittent Energy Restriction was in the title and several fasting uh, proponents said, look, this study shows intermittent fasting is better. No, just because it has the word intermittent in it does not mean the same thing as intermittent fasting. So this is not an intermittent fasting study. This is a study on intermittent energy restriction. So in the intermittent energy restriction group, they consumed a 35% deficit during the week. And then on the weekend, two days in a row, they consumed their maintenance calories. And the maintenance calories were made up by increasing the subject's carbohydrate intake and not their protein or fat. Now we don't know if that is something that's preferential. That's just what the researchers did. So what did they find? Well, they found that fat loss between the two groups was the same, that both groups lost the same amount of fat. Interestingly, in the intermittent dieting group, they lost less fat-free mass, and they also experienced less slowing of their RMR. Now, the improved maintenance of their RMR during dieting is probably just 100% due to the fact that they maintain their fat-free mass much better. Does this mean that everybody needs to be going out and doing two day back-to-back -back refeeds at maintenance calories? That's not what the study says. This is just one piece of the puzzle. What it does suggest is that it seems that if you're going to do some form of calorie cycling, you're probably better off not having isolated higher calorie days and rather if you're gonna do two or three high, high calorie days in a week, put them back to back. It seems that the sustained eating at maintenance or above has a better effect than even one day eating way above maintenance. The studies seem to show pretty clearly that one day eating at maintenance or above does not improve fat loss outcomes or uh, fat-free mass retention outcomes. How does this compare to something like diet breaks where you're looking at a full week or several weeks eating at maintenance? Well, we're not sure. This was just an eight-week study. We don't know about the longer-term outcomes. Um, it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see hey, can you combine the two strategies, which I often do with clients, or I've suggested this in my books, Fat Loss Forever, or the Complete Contest Prep Guide. I talk about, hey, there's no reason you can't use both these methods. So you could do, for example, two to three weeks of dieting where you have consecutive refeed days in those diet periods and still do diet breaks you know, every two or three weeks of a week or two at maintenance. And I've actually seen some really good results from, from using those sort of methodologies. It's just one piece to a puzzle. We're not saying it's the end all be all, but it is a cool study. Uh, we'll put the link in the description. You can read the full text online for free. Shout out to Bill Campbell for uh, doing such great research. He's really asking a lot of great questions. I'm excited to see what comes out of that lab in the future. And shout out to our team BioLane coaches, David, James, and Sarah. Proud of you guys for doing actual research and finding stuff that we can apply and that benefits the fitness community as a whole. Proud of you guys. Catch you next week. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you like these videos, please click the links in the description to check out some of my educational books where you can learn more about fat loss and contest prep.